28400. Getting here was a long, hard climb. It was a journey that began in another century, in a far off land, but in a place, an ideal we shall never leave behind. Leading our way were the leaders of our Dairus, teaching Torah in the way that makes it most vibrant in our lives. Torah in the Telzer Derech. They endured fires of tragedy and the flames of war. They flourished while fashioning a unique kind of Torahdik yet Veltliche Mensch and suffered while withstanding the greatest massacre of mankind the world has ever known. Then in this new land brave new visionary leaders put aside their personal losses and private pains to pioneer a new home for Torah. Tragedy's bell would once again toll. The song of Torah would again ring out strong. Flames would flicker and dreams would grow. But with each pendulum swing over 50 years, there was something we would always know. Due to this journey, Torah would glow in both the heartland and the heart of America. Ad Bias HaGoel. Tells in America. Half a century and a full life. Aber wenn wir uns damals aufgestellt, wenn wir gedacht haben, heute wir die Sifra Torah, was er gesagt hat, ist, Zweimal ist mir schon ausgekommen, herauszunehmen, die Sifratäre von Telser bis Metros von Yeshiva. Zu lieber Feier. Und mit der Reingebracht zurück. Und er hofft, als der Mal, was wir nehmen, heraus die Sifratäre, dann mal weiter, solche Sachen reinzubringen, zurück in Telser Yeshiva. Die Wörter seien nicht geheim geworden. I feel that they were sent by the Rabbeinu Shalom Neshlichas to establish a yeshiva in the United States. Tells a yeshiva can boast of thousands of Talmidim who studied here, who absorbed Torah, Yiras Shamayim, Oroch Hashem. We have Talmidim all over the country, Marbitzei Torah, in Eretz Yisroel, in South Africa, in Brazil, in Canada, who glorify the Shem Hashem wherever they come. To establish a non-college yeshiva in Midwestern America was nothing short of miraculous. Uh, mit dem ganzen Nuscher und Ruach, wie sie gewinnt doch. Und sie haben gewaltig Matzliar gewinnt. Da auf der Norden Telser ist sie weg. Und zu dem Durchsee ist fast breit geworden und ausgebaut, der hat sich lachen. Ich schiebe doch, dass Hashem sicher gewesen sein wird, in Amerika da. 50 Kilo Marbet Terry gewesen, auf dem Gräsen vernehmen. Ein riesiger Massach Talmidim, wo sie an allen Gräsen mal spielen. Und verschiedene Wegen, jeder Rentsker auf seinen Maler, jeder Rentsker ist mal bequetscher Meier. One day I went to the local bakery and in walked one of the elder Balabatim and he said, who are you? And I said, I'm Gershon Adler. He said, who? You are Rabbi Gershon? I said, yes. And my name is Gershon Adler. He says, you are the Rabbi Gershon? Well, the Rosh Yeshiva Rebbe Meir Bloch told us, you're going to take over the Aguda and run it for the city. And I couldn't believe how much publicity he did for me. And while the Aguda Yisrael of Cleveland may have had a tremendous impact, it was only the work of the Rosh Yeshiva Rebbe Meir. In 1943, the Rosh Yeshiva felt it necessary together with 
the ballet batim of Cleveland, a select group, to establish a yeshiva ktana, a day school, which became known as the Hebrew Academy of Cleveland. The Hebrew Academy was financed at that time partially uh, by the community, but matched dollar for dollar by the Telzi Yeshiva. Yeshiva established in the early 1950s the Yavna High School for Girls, and approximately 10 years later, the Mesifta High School for Boys, which is known as the Mesifta of Cleveland. Besides building a beautiful yeshiva where thousands of Talmidim were nishanach and were marbitz teurer later, he felt a great achrayas to build Yiddishkeit in the city. Today, Cleveland is, in all respects, a city which is very desirable for any former union man or a uh, young couple to settle in. Everything is available, and uh, there is no doubt that such a thing could never have come about without the input of the Rosh Yeshivas. The Rosh Yeshiva Zechrein Levracha, Rebarach, Zeratzkin Zechrein Levracha, was one source of not only encouragement, but his whole avoida in everything that he did in the yeshiva was always done with such misiris and such fire. And he never knew what it meant to be tired. Day and night, he used to come back from Los Angeles, travel the whole day, right to the yeshiva, right to the Gemara, right to the phone calls, right to the Chinuch HaTzmai, right to the Torah Maseira. There was no let up in his Avodah Sakodesh. That was a Gevaltika Hashpa. That was a Hashpi on me that at the Talmud HaYeshiva, I must continue and learn from his drachim. Yeshiva was looking to produce Erlich Bnei Torah. Yeshiva light, people who would not focus solely on themselves, but on what they could do for Klal Yisrael and their achrayas for the tzibur. Tells the yeshiva to me is more than just a yeshiva where we learn halacha, agoda, shiurim. I always felt that the Rosh yeshiva were more than that. They were more like a father. This is Chaim Friedman, and I'm from Sunny, California. Uh, if you're wondering why a, a California boy comes to uh, travel all the way to Cleveland, where it's known for snow and everything like that, uh, you're not the only ones that were bothered by this question because um, my father has been telling me all his uh, wonderful experiences and tells. Baruch Hashem, I followed in his footsteps. I had I have Rabbi Monk last year, and my father had Rabbi Monk in the in the 60s, and we're both there to have a very good Rabbi. And that's what keeps me going in this very cold Cleveland, the Ora Torah. Name is Chesko Barkin. My grandfather was uh, one of, was one of the yeshivas and the founders of Tells. My father's a magachir in the yeshiva, and. I hope to follow in their footsteps. It always brings back special memories when I think about those times, the special meals that we got in Tel Zuh Yeshiva. Food, so, so. The davening was long, and in Elul especially, I can I remember today the Yehesh Meirabba was something that never seemed to leave, that, that sound of that the Yehesh Meirabba that we had in, in, in Elul's man. I feel that the Yeshiva always had that in mind to try and give over to us a rounded education or a, a, a purpose that we would be able to adapt in any situation that we did come to. Through the many years I went in the yeshiva, I always found that the hadracha sachayim that the yeshiva gave to me and the, the approach or the way they showed us to, to lead our lives always appeared before me to help me in a lot of the decisions I had to make. All of us know that we spent the best years of our lives in a base medris which taught us Torah, Kinesinosa, Messina. The Yeshiva fühlt sich zugebunden den Talmidim und den Talmidim lassen sich viel stark zugebunden zu der Yeshiva. Und in der Reinkeit der Rauschkirche nach Gewalt, der Kirche ist das Sehen, weil er mir nicht mehr gemacht hat, dass er viel Zeit hat, warum gesucht and the rest of the people who are in the middle of the world are in the middle of the world and the number of the people who are in the middle of the world. The occasion of the Shiridas, when he would say Shiridas, was a very elevating experience. She had masterful powers of, 
I wouldn't call it oratory, but he was able to speak, to raise the sights, to inspire people. You felt you were going into a different oilum. Even those who didn't understand completely the Shirdas, but they felt that they were being lifted up into an oilum of Machshava, an oilum of Emes, an oilum of Tyre, an ideal world in which um, lofty concepts were being discussed and were practical ways of being the Saki and Tyre and Yiddishkeit in the Medina were being discussed. And again, Dur. America Bombes the Benishalayim will go not to spoil for all the bombs from the world. So those Arab bombs, so those American bombs, he will not to spoil for these things. And he will not to take it to Tile. No more plug of Yesamchu. Ihrlehin Kdeus Mishkenei Eljön. Mir leben mit der Anerkennung, aber es ist ständig zusammen mit der rebellischen Leidung. Er ist Kind der Kirche. Wir sollen nicht gucken auf Sachen, auf die Schädelschen von der Welt, am Mitte der Memele. Es tut sich. Von sich tut sich gar nicht, dass es nur einer was tut. Und man darf anfangen verstehen, was in der Welt tut sich. Homo goyim, motu mamlochois, alle Völker von der Welt tummeln. Uns beigen sich, uns brechen sich, alle mamloches. England! For the guests of Mamlochus in the world, from their days, to the mice in Heinz, they waste in Jesus' hakel to them. America, we waste it up to Tyson, the Geschehenes, was in America comes for. Hashem, Zwoge, Isimonu, and the Dover Amelach in them capital. Wenn man betracht Weltgeschehnissen, dass man zukommen zu die Maskone, als Hashem zwoge ist im Monu, misgab lohnu, er ist unser Hilf, ele kei jankev selo. Und auf dem haben wir das Gewehe gewähren, erkennest viele, um so ein Spallerl sein, so sagen viele ihm, aber da haben wir doch verstehen, was heißt, wir sollen sagen viele ihm, als ich mir das schon meine, als es kommt vor. Er macht das die ganze Weltgeschehnisse. Und auf einmal muss man reden mit ihm. Aber eben, wir will nicht alle kennen an solchen Sachen. Wir fühlen sich, wie wir haben sich ständig gefühlt. Du hast verlassen, hat er Tilim. Du hast verlassen, hat er Betten. Da du das mehr Ehre sein uns alle Mann. Wenn ich Tere darf nur aufgeheben werden, soll nicht liegen in dem Schwall am Matzen, von was auf der Welt liegt. 
und können stehen über dem Alts. Ich habe immer gesagt, dem Chazal, sich aufheben von der Luft über die Welt, so man dort, so man dort in Kenan guckt und was ist Welt? Umfang ein bisschen verstehen. Wenn man da verstehen, besser an Atheismus. Wir verstehen besser an Rasbe. Wir verstehen besser die Gemorgen, was man lernt. Aber eben man lernt als Ding mit verstopptem Kepp. Als ist natürlich, als geht, wie sie ständig gegangen, geht der Lehrer näher als ich. Lass mich euch nützen, die Zeit, wie es darf, euch genützt werden. Lass mich folgen, die wir in Wien. Lass mich folgen, was Taylor Lett mit uns. Da wollen wir glücklich werden. Jetzt wollen wir sagen, die Tiere, was wir da sagen. In Parshas Mishpatim, Rashi asks, Va'avado li'olam, ad hayovel, o eno ela li'olam kemashma'o. In the case of an Eved Ivri, does he work until Yovel, the 50th Jubilee year, or, as it says literally, for his entire life? Talmud Lomar, we learn, Ve'ish el mishpachto tashuvu. Every man shall return to his family. Magid, from which we learn, Shechamishim Shana Kruyim Olam. Fifty years are a full life. A full life in half a century. And what a life! A life full of memories and accomplishments. Ga'onim and Gevura. Torah and Yirashamayim, Hasmada and Chesed, lives as lived by every man here and thousands more elsewhere, returning with their family to their family, their family of their yeshiva. It is a return that truly takes no travel. For the yeshiva doesn't only exist in Wycliffe, nor in Chicago. Its zecher is not just in Eretz Yisrael, nor in New York. It's not in a minion in Borough Park, or even in an inyan explored in its dafyomi. The yeshiva exists eternally in all those places, and especially in the hearts it touched, and in the minds it molded over the half-century of its full life. It's in thousands of wives and children who share and benefit from their father's chinuch, and in the perhaps tens of thousands of Torah Talmidim who learn from a Rebbe, who overhear a shear who share a schmooze with any of the many Talmidim, who around the world daily transmit our distinct Derech HaTorah. It's in the way they live their days. Rashi says, 50 years is an oilam. Und unser Abeim haben uf geton avelt. Va'avado liolam. Yes. Fifty years is a life, but the yeshiva's life is a living legacy, an awesome responsibility that all who partook equally, continually, and proudly share. So join us in saying, Baruch Hashem, for it tells yeshiva, life has just begun. 